If you've ever opened your fridge to the smells and sights of spoiling food, you've probably felt the disappointment of having to throw out groceries you spent your hard earned money on. But there are some steps that you can take to make sure that it doesn't go to waste. Harina Roy tells us the best ways to organize your refrigerator. When getting home from the supermarket, it's tempting to quickly put away your groceries. But according to Daniel Roklowski of Consumer Reports, how you organize your refrigerator matters. It's absolutely worth just spending a few more minutes putting things in the right places to really maximize the life of your, your food and really save you money. Roklowski says each section of your fridge has varying climate conditions. For example, in temperature performance tests, they notice the door usually gets a few degrees warmer than other areas. He advises storing things like butter, condiments, juice, soda, water, and even cooking oils there. We really advise people uh, to not use it to store things like milk and eggs, even though it's really tempting because they have dedicated compartments for those items in the door but don't put your milk and eggs there. Then there are the crisper drawers. Many crisper drawers um, have humidity controls that you can either switch them to high humidity or low humidity. But even if your, your refrigerator doesn't have those adjustments, you still wanna think about separating your high humidity items and your low humidity items. Low humidity items include apples, avocados, grapes, mushrooms, and peppers. Keep those separate from high humidity items like broccoli, carrots, green onions, and leafy greens. The lower shelf, usually located in the middle of the refrigerator, tends to be much cooler. Roklowski recommends storing more temperature sensitive items there like milk, eggs, raw meat, and fish. And since the upper shelves are a bit warmer, they're best for jelly, peanut butter, yogurt, and leftovers. The upper shelf is good for leftovers because they're already cooked. Um, and so you don't have to worry as much about them, you know, spoiling as if they were a raw item. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.